That brings me to this track that Brother, Brother Sam brought me today. Crossway Baptist Church. Oh, Brother Smith, you shouldn't call names. Then don't ever do it. I would never want you to do something you think you shouldn't do. But I think it's a good idea. Crossway Baptist Church out there, right there in your neck of the woods. Now watch. Hey, Dr. Collins. He looks like a decent guy, Dr. Jack Collins. I'm, you know, but listen, I want you to know something. You know, I just want, I just want to read this to you. And watch this. Three simple steps to being born again. Number one, realize. They got to have their little alliterated sermon. I don't care what Brother Robinson says. I ain't preaching alliterated sermons except when I want to, and that's very rarely, okay? Uh, realize. You got to realize you're a sinner. All have sinned. Realize each person is accountable for their sins. Accountable for their sins. Wages of sin is death. I understand that. Realize forgiveness is only available through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, in whom we have redemption through his blood of forgiveness of sins. That's wonderful. So the three steps you got to do to get saved. Number one is realize. Number two, repent. Now, for that, if you define repentance correctly, here's what he says. The word repent means to turn away from a life of sin and turn to God. Listen, I don't, I can't take it. Okay, I can't take it. I swear, you know, Brother, Brother May over, over and brother, uh, brother Gray, he's wanting me to write an article for Baptist Magazine and put it in there and put one in, the, in, in um, uh, the Flaming Torch. And I've been wanting to write one about this pervert uh, whose father-in-law is over here in Arlington, Texas, okay? Been wanting to write one about that and call his thinking. Now, I wouldn't call his name, but I'd check his mail in front of God and everybody and just warn people, I wish y'all wake up. I mean, I just do one of those kind of things. But you know, several years ago, everybody got in this big repentance fight in fundamentalism. Bless God. Now the same crowd, everybody's running around with each other. I swear, I'm, I may just write an article and say, what happened to the repentance fight? Brother Smith, you're starting to start a fight? No, I'm not. I just wish somebody would stand up for what's right and what's wrong. Now listen, listen to what he says. I'm just going to read you what he said. Watch this. You got to repent. The word repent means to turn away from a life of sin. And turn to God. Now, can, if you believe the King James Bible, would you say amen? amen. Now, let me, let me show you something here. This is Psalm 106 and verse 40. Let's see here. Verse 40. Psalm 106 and verse 40. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they hated them and ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Watch this. Listen to how good God is. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry. They were stinking rebels, man. But even then, when they turned to God and said, please give us mercy, he gave it. Watch this, verse 45. And he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. Now, God repented. That's what the Bible said. You look up the word repent, repenting, repentance, uh, any form of the word, and you'll find out in this King James Bible, God repented more times than man did. Now look, I want you to read that in light of that. Here's what, watch this. Some lost guy is going down the street. He's an alcoholic. He's beating his wife. He can't stop. He's, 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 in, he's bound by the chains of sin. He's looking for a way out. He's looking for a savior. That's what he's looking for. And somebody hands him, flips him this thing, and he says, well, man, maybe this is the answer. Let's see what this says. Realize I'm a sinner. Man, I know that. Everybody's account for their sins. That, that makes sense. Forgiveness only through Jesus. Okay. Next thing, repent. I got to turn away from my life of sin. He's going to say, I can't do that. I've been trying to do that forever. Turn away from, I don't know, you think God turned away from a life of sin? It says God repented. That's heresy. Uh, that's rank heresy of the, of the worst form right there. People are burning in hell because they read that. Now, I understand they're already going to hell, but what I'm saying is they, they could have got saved, but they ain't going to get saved reading that. But that's the kind of stuff that's going on in fundamentalism. That's the kind of stuff that's going on in America. See, well, Brother Smith, you know, he, he, now, I've, I've, listen, don't bring me the argument because I've heard all the arguments. Okay? Now, there's some topics I may not be up on, but that one right there, I got that one pegged, okay? Me, me and Dr. Keith Gomez got, got right face to face on that one about, about, set, about 15 years ago. Now, Brother Smith, you shouldn't call his name. Send him the stinking CD. Ask me how much I care. 
Because I told him all this right to his face. I don't care if he's running 1,500. I don't care if he's running 2,000. Ask me how much I... He ain't running as much as the Pope. He ain't much as running, running as much as Ed Young out here. That don't make it right. Amen. I told him right to his face. He sat there on the platform of Howes Anderson College. Criticized Brother Howes. Criticized everybody. Well, repentance is like the prodigal son. He's going this way and he came to himself and turned around. That's the greatest example of... Hey, stupid. He was a son before he left. That ain't talking about salvation. That's talking about somebody getting right with God is what that's talking about. Here's what they say, though. Oh, well, you just misunderstand, Brother Smith. You have to show mercy and sing Kumbaya and kiss those guys.